Hello everyone and welcome to another X-Plane 11 tutorial. In this video I will teach you the automatic direction finder and how to navigate to non-directional beacons. This is one of the oldest air navigation systems that's still in use today. Now if you really want to understand this, there's a lot of reading to do. There's mathematical formulas, there's types of ADF radios, there's tracking, there's homing, and etc, etc. I'll be leaving a lot of that out of this video today. My goal, like all my other videos, is to teach you the basics so that you can practice this and explain right away. If you truly find out that you're interested in NDBs and ADFs and you want to learn the intricacies, I will leave a link at the description of this video so that you can understand everything that you need to know. So, in a nutshell, how does it work? A ground-based radio station known as a non-directional beacon, or NDB, transmits an omnidirectional signal. Once tuned to the correct frequency, the automatic direction finder, or ADF, located within the cockpit, displays the aircraft position relative to the station. The pilot then tracks their way to or from the NDB station using the formula magnetic heading plus relative bearing equals the magnetic bearing. Again, we won't be doing too much of this in this video. I will show you quickly once, but then I'm going to show you how to use what's called a rotating card to do the math for us. So let's jump inside our plane and go from there. Now that we're inside the aircraft, let's find an NDB and tune our automatic direction finder radio to the NDB. We can see there's an NDB in front of us with a frequency of 358. So I can simply click this button to an ADF1, which sets the primary to 358, or I can manually enter it. So let's look at the second NDB over here, which has a frequency of 270. So I can manually enter 270 by using the outer knob for the bigger number, and the inner knob for the smaller number. So now I have a primary frequency of 358, and a backup NDB at 270, and I can switch between them using the FRQ or frequency button. Now that you know how to use the automatic direction finder radio and tune into an NDB, you'll need to understand how that's displayed. It's displayed through something called a relative bearing indicator, or RBI for short. When the yellow arrow is facing up, you're flying to the NDB, and when the yellow arrow is facing down, you're flying away or from the NDB. There's also multiple types of these RBIs. The simplest is a fixed card RBI, where it always shows north, and you can't move the actual plate that's inside the RBI. In this particular RBI, it means that you have to do some math to figure out your magnetic bearing to get to the NDB. We're lucky because the Cessna 172 inside X-Plane 11 has a movable card RBI. So I can actually rotate this little card to make it easier for me to do some math. And I'll show you that in a minute. So let's start off with the basics. I'm flying a heading of 090 as you can see here. I'm tuned in to my NDB at 358. And the RBI is saying that my relative bearing from the nose of my aircraft is 345 degrees from where I'm flying right now. So if I want to know which degree to turn to, I take my current heading, which is 90 east, add it to the relative bearing, which is 345, which gives me a total of 435 degrees. Now since we all know that there's only 360 degrees in a compass, we would subtract 360 from 435, which would give us a heading of 075. So if I want to fly directly to that NDB, all I have to do is change over here to 075. I'll unpause the simulator. And we'll start to see the RBI card here go to the top. And if I look here, I'm now flying directly to the NDB. Now, once I move past the NDB, the relative bearing indicator will actually show from. Right now I can see it's showing two. And we'll 
move the map over to the side so you can see. And as we fly over this NDB, it's going to slowly move to the front. see it moving now. And there we go. We're now moving away from the NDB or from the NDB. Now earlier though, we also found ourselves a backup NDB, which is right over here. So let's say we want to fly to this particular NDB. So since the first method we did was math, we took our current heading and then we added it to the relative bearing and then we subtract subtracted 360 because it exceeded the 360 degrees on our compass that's our method that we use to get to the first one I'll show you the easier simpler method for this one we're gonna go over here and change to the frequency of 270 which is the other NDB over here now we're flying a heading of 075 all I have to do is change the heading bug here to 075, like that. So now it tells me I need to fly a heading of 300 to get to that NDB. It's that simple. So now I will change my heading to 300. And we'll start to track this particular NDB over here. Now note that if your turn is not fast enough or if you're in a crosswind, it'll push you off course so your math won't be perfect. But again, you can just take a new calculation and adjust your course. Um, and this is a very basic video, so I'm not getting into homing and tracking and crosswinds and a whole bunch of other concepts. I will post a link at the bottom of this video in the description, so if you want to know that stuff, you'll be able to. So as you can see here, I'm now going towards it, but I'm off a little bit. So if I wanted to do another calculation, well again, I'm flying a heading of 300 here. So I move this to 300. go so I would need to fly about 290 if I was going to intercept that now so we'll adjust to 290 and bang on so now we're flying directly to this NDB so in a nutshell this is how to do ADF and NDB navigation you tune your ADF radio to the frequency of the NDB use the RBI to find the relative bearing and then you either change the fixed card you either change the movable card or do some math on a fixed card to calculate your magnetic bearing to track or basically hit that NDB that you're following thanks very much for watching I've changed the resolution in this video to be a little higher so let me know if you like that or don't like that and if you have any suggestions or feedback, put that in the comment box and please subscribe.